A full moon occurs when the entire face of the moon is illuminated by the sun, making it appear as a bright circle from Earth. This happens when the moon is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun, in what's called opposition. During this phase, the moon rises around sunset and sets around sunrise. Like any other full moon, the July full moon will rise along the eastern horizon at sunset and set in the west just before dawn. In the northern hemisphere, where nights are shorter this time of year, the moon will remain quite low in the sky, even at midnight. Conversely, in the southern hemisphere, the moon will reach a high position in the sky. The July full moon, also known as the buck moon. Male deer antlers begin to grow in late spring. Antlers grow as fast as quarter inch per day or one and one half inches per week during this period, making them the fastest growing bones in the world. Antlers grow from the pedicel in the buck's skull. The lengthening daylight in spring triggers the hormones that start the growth each spring. In different cultures, full moons often receive names that reflect the peculiarities of a particular season. For example, the July full moon is sometimes called the halfway summer moon because it rises in the middle of summer in the northern hemisphere. Its other common name is thunder moon because of the frequent thunderstorms in July. The July full moon can appear in either of two zodiac constellations, Capricornus or, more frequently, Sagittarius. The full moon will be seen all night long if the weather is good and no obstacles hinder your view. You can easily observe it with the naked eye or take a pair of binoculars or a small telescope to explore its craters. If you decide to use optics, better take filters because the moon will be pretty bright, it won't harm your eyes, but the shadows on the lunar surface will get fainter. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and feel free to reach out at any time. Your support is our greatest motivation.